I recently read David Goggin's book, Can't Hurt Me, and there was one part that stuck with me. The first step on the journey toward a calloused mind is stepping outside your comfort zone on a regular basis. Dig out your journal again and write all the things you don't like to do or that make you uncomfortable. Now, go do one of them and do it again. So that's what I did. I got out my journal and wrote everything I hated doing. Even if it's as simple as making your bed, doing the dishes, ironing the clothes, or getting up before dawn and running two miles each day. Before I knew it, I had a list full of things I hated doing, and now it was my time to take action. I started off by taking things slowly, waking up early, writing my thoughts down into a journal, going for a walk to watch the sunrise, and began making things harder. We all have areas in our lives we either ignore or can improve upon. Now I want you to have a little think about what it is you feel you could improve, whether that's going to the gym, improving your relationship, or even finding time within your day for yourself. And I want you to write it down. Don't worry, I am too, just getting used to doing all this, but doing things, even small things that make you uncomfortable, will help make you strong. Now I wanted to improve on running, filmmaking, and structuring my chaotic day to find time for everything. So that's what I had to spend the next week figuring out. Now I actually found that writing my weaknesses down allowed me to solve them by combining them all together. For me, I wanted to improve running but also filmmaking. So why not film myself running and make a video like this? This is day one of running every day for the next week. This is day three of running every day for the next week. This is day four of running every day. This is day seven of running every day for the next week. Complete it. What I then found is that creating a schedule within my day to rise early, find a time to film myself doing something hard each day, allowed me to create a routine and a schedule to improve all three of my weaknesses. For you, this could be improving your relationship by going on runs together and using that as a way of spending time together as well as a pursuit of for your fitness. Or eating healthy after a gym session to make sure the session is worth doing. I continued to do all this until my schedule was falling into place. I was waking up at 7, spending the first 30 minutes of my day running and filming myself until 7.30 when I began on the video that you are watching right now, until 8am, where I started preparing for my full-time job which meant eating a healthy, high-protein breakfast and logging in for work by nine. At lunchtime, it was time to head to the gym for 45 minutes and finally complete my work at 5 p.m. Now, I know what you're thinking, this all sounds so perfect, but truly it's not. Overcoming weaknesses like running and filmmaking may not change my life completely straight away. But like Goggin said, soon you'll develop a more productive, can-do dialogue with yourself in stressful situations. And that hit hard because I wasn't just running to improve my fitness, I wasn't just recording myself to improve my filmmaking. I was doing this to train my mind for when life smacks me in the face with a difficult situation and I need to face it head on rather than make an excuse to avoid it. For example, I have uploaded to YouTube for almost seven years now and sometimes I really struggle with consistency, asking myself if this is even worth pursuing and if the efforts are going to be worth it. It's easy to be in your head, overthinking that you're doing loads of work and deserve the success when actually you don't. This was the amount of times I uploaded last year, it was terrible. So, this year, week by week, I have tried to make a change and become more consistent with uploading and trying to build this channel upload by upload. I even did one video every day for 30 days at the start of the year. Welcome to day one of 30 of uploading every single day. I even quit drinking over one year ago. Why have I stopped enjoying drinking alcohol at 20 years old? And I've been going to the gym for two years now. And this book helped me to understand that the drive of not giving up comes from the passion to keep improving on things we all struggle with and sooner or later, they won't become as hard anymore. So. I'll leave you with this. Take a photo or video of yourself in the discomfort zone. Post it on social media describing what you are doing and why. But rather than posting it on social media, comment on this video because I want to hear what you're improving with your life. Take care.